Hi, I'm Craig with Lens Baby, and I'm here to talk about the Soft Focus 2 Optic. The Optic is part of the Optic Swap system, and it is a system that allows you to take uh, a lens optic and put it into a lens body, as we call them, and get a specific effect. I have just put the Soft Focus 2 Optic into the fixed body, which is in, the one in my hand is a Sony mount, and that allows me to have a complete lens. That lens is different than what you could have done with the original soft focus optic, primarily because of the internal aperture system. It has a 12-bladed aperture that allows you to fine tune your effect, and the first soft focus optic that came out in 2009 had only drop-in apertures, um, they, it had the same effect as far as the optical design was the same, um, but you had to commit to the look that you were after uh, before you started to focus, before you framed your image, and if you wanted to change that, you had to pull your apertures out. Now, what's really cool is that the Soft Focus 2 has that same aperture system, and we're including three of these multi hold apps. They have different size center holes and a different number of uh, outer holes, and so that mixes the softness from the outside of the optical design with the sharpness from the inside in a very different ratio for each of these three. So for different subject matter, and you might just find a favorite of the three that you like, um, it, it it, it just gives you lots of options. Lens Baby loves lots of options, and, and this is one of those options. It also comes with a uh, starburst, a sunburst app that allows you to change the shape of your out of focus areas. And that effect is, is really obvious if you have points of light in the background and less obvious if uh, you have a, a low contrast background. Um, but it will change the highlights on your subject, it will change the what's going on in the background, especially if you have a high contrast or points of light in the background. Uh, those apertures come in this little aperture removal tool and storage case, um, and I am going to just show you right here. Uh, let's open this guy up, whoops, or get my hand out of the way, and what you want to do when you're changing your apertures is just drop it in fairly flat um, and that puts your aperture uh, right there sitting right in front of the glass which is right in front of the 12 bladed aperture. Um, once you've got that in place, uh, I, I don't generally stop down my internal aperture when I have another aperture sitting in front of it, uh, but you can you can play with that for sure. You can also stack up to three different apertures to get custom shapes. Uh, and then when you're ready to remove that and go back to just the internal aperture or change your drop-in aperture, the end of the tool that the Soft Focus 2 came with has a magnet on it, and you just tap that to the front of your aperture and uh, and pull it out. So. That's how that works. Um, the Soft Focus 2 at the brightest apertures, tons of glow. As you stop it down, it becomes more like a classic lens where you still have edge effects and whatnot that are not like a modern lens, um, but you have a very, very sharp and contrasty center. So having that huge amount of variability and having the drop-in apertures to be able to change the shape of everything that's out of focus and the highlights even in the in-focus areas. Um, there's tons of variability and there's lots of happy surprises that come with this because the flare that comes from it, the, the points of light that, that will take on the shape of your aperture, it's a ton of fun. Uh, last thing I want to show you is how to uh, properly install your optic. Um, and what you want to do is you want to open up your optic or stop your optic. <laughs> I was right the first time. Open up your optic to f2.5. That is the brightest aperture. It goes from f2.5 down to f22. Um, and there's going to be a dot there right next to the f2.5. You want to line that up with the circle. There's a circle and a dot on the front of your lens body. Um, and and then just click it into place. What that does is, one, it puts your apertures at the top of the optic so that when you're looking down on your lens, you'll be able to see what your aperture is. And it also gives you an indicator of which aperture you're at because that dot is now lined up with your aperture setting. So that is a 
primer on the Soft Focus 2 optic, which is um, one of my favorite optics. Tons of variability. It is, uh, you, you know, I, I, it, I, I'm the lens baby daddy, so I have to, I have to choose sometimes which one's my favorite, and sometimes this one's my favorite. But if you have any questions that I didn't answer, please put it in the comments below, and I will answer those as soon as I can. Uh, and you have a wonderful day. Thanks for being here.